So here it is, folks, arguably the best power supply in the world. The AX1500i from Corsair is winning recommendations and Editor's Choice Awards all over the place, including the first ever perfect 10 out of 10 at my favorite power supply review site, johnnyguru.com. And the reason goes far beyond its 80 plus titanium efficiency rating. A global leader in tech recruiting is celebrating Geek Pride by giving away 10 amazing tech prizes. For more info, visit the Modus Facebook page or modus.com. But what's 80 plus titanium, Linus? I've never heard of that before, let alone seen a product with that sticker on the box. Great question. 80 plus certification showed up back when very little attention was being paid to the relatively low efficiency of power supplies at the time, something that caused PCs to output more heat and consume more electricity. It started out as a quick and dirty certification that promised a power supply would be at least 80% efficient at low, medium, and full loads, so 20, 50, and 100%. Since then, even though the ATX 2.2 specification only requires efficiency in the 65 to 70 range, performance power supply makers have continued to strive for greater and greater efficiency. 80 plus titanium is currently the highest bar to strive for and requires efficiency of 90%, 92%, 94%, and 90% at loads of 10%, 20%, 50%, and 100% respectively. Aside from the debatable importance of titanium versus platinum, gold, or silver efficiency from a power bill savings perspective though, one amazing thing about this unit is that due to its efficiency, it can actually deliver its entire capacity off of a normal 15 amp circuit. So you don't have to get a fancy high current outlet installed in your house just to max out your power supply like what we've seen in the past. Efficiency isn't the only story when it comes to performance though. Some 80 plus power supplies are efficient but suffer from poor voltage regulation and excessive ripple, which can cause instability and damage or even destroy your other components in the long term. Not an issue here though, even though low ripple and strong voltage regulation are more difficult to achieve with higher capacity power supply units, Corsair's use of a state-of-the-art DSP allows the AX1500i to dynamically manage its own performance to achieve a no compromises experience for its users. And you also get to use Corsair Link to monitor power in, power out efficiency, although I suppose they just derived that from the first two, fan speed, temperatures, and even send yourself emails if any of those things go out of whack. Neato. Physically, the first thing I noticed taking the unit out of its box is how large it is. At 224 millimeters long, it's the biggest power supply that I've ever used and one of the biggest I've ever seen. Make sure if you're planning to buy one that there's room in your case for not only the unit, but also the modular cables that need to stick out of the end of it. The sides are unadorned, save for the Corsair AX branding, and on the top you won't find much of anything other than a simple sticker with a breakdown of how much of the unit's total capacity can be delivered on each of the main rails, as well as the usual safety certifications. Of note here is that the entire 1500 watt capacity can be delivered on the 12 volt rail. Set sail for Graphics Card City, am I right? The fan on the bottom is a custom 140 millimeter unit with a fluid dynamic bearing and a blade design that is optimized for maximum airflow at low noise levels. Uh, I mean, honestly though, I don't know why anyone bothers putting this on their fan packaging anymore. Isn't that about like saying a car is optimized for maximum power with great fuel economy? I mean, who is optimizing their fans for minimum airflow at maximum noise levels? Anyway, that's not the main selling point of the fan for me anyway. I'm more interested in the fact that it doesn't even turn on until around 30% load. So your power supply can be kicking out 400 plus watts of power and be running completely fanlessly silent. Neat. At the back is a honeycomb grill, a standby switch, and that unusual larger C19 power cord socket. And then finally on the opposite end, we've got the modular interface with a whopping 19 connectors with varying levels of usefulness. The normal stuff is here, 24 pin connector, six peripheral connectors that can be used to connect a total of 24 SATA and Molex devices with five quad SATA cables and three quad Molex cables included in the box. We've got two spots for eight pin CPU connectors and what wait a minute that's 10 
eight pin sockets that can be used to connect up to 10 PCI Express eight pin connectors and two EPS eight pin connectors at the same time. More on that in a moment. Uh, wrapping things up back here, we've got a self-test button, a USB port for Corsair Link software monitoring, and another monitoring port. All right, so back to those PCIe connectors. Corsair includes a great variety of ribbon-style, flat, black PCIe cables to accommodate almost any kind of configuration. You've got four standard-length single 6 plus 2s, two longer single 6 plus 2s, and then two double 6 plus 2s, which are fine for most cards that have two connectors. To reduce cable clutter so you're just running one cable but don't try to use those ones on an R9 295X2 you'll want to run two separate cables for that because it consumes so much power now I wouldn't have minded Corsair mixing things up a little bit in terms of the variety of the other included cables, maybe a couple of dual SATAs or like uh, a variation or two with tighter spacing between the connectors or something like that, but this is a very minor complaint and overall the modular cables included give you a lot of flexibility in terms of cable management when building your PC, no matter what kind of case you're using, and they look absolutely fantastic with every single one of them, not just the PCI Express ones, but even the 24 pin being that flat ribbon style with all black wires. Very, very nice. Now, I'm going to break tradition a little bit here and do the conclusion of this video before the actual end. So stay tuned to find out why. But here it goes. Do you need this power supply? No, of course not. Whatever it can do, there are other less expensive ways to do. That's it. That's all there is to it. But do you want this power supply? The fact that you're still watching this video would indicate that perhaps you do, and not entirely without cause. Yes, there are other ways to deliver 1500 watts of power to a PC, but they lack the elegance, sex appeal, and sheer technological wow factor of this one. So there you have it. It's the best, and it comes with a price tag to match, but at least you get a seven year warranty, this sweet cloth bag, and a case badge that you can stick to your case with pride because you officially have a 224 millimeter e -peen. You can't even see what I'm doing, but I think you guys know what it is. But of course, you didn't come to Linus Tech Tips to hear about my decades of experience as an electrical engineer and see a detailed teardown of the power supply. Nope, we're gonna be doing a packaging test as a follow-up to my ever-popular test on the AX1200i where I threw it out of a moving vehicle. But this time we're upping the ante. This is the aptly named 400-yard uh, water balloon launcher from BAM Launcher. Picked this up on Amazon and uh, we are going to be flinging a power supply with it. So I've got my lovely assistants, Luke and Nick. The power supply is in here. We are going to show you the power supply when we're done with this. But uh, the point of this exercise is, uh, let's just, we haven't tried this before, so you'll have to just bear with us. We're on the roof here. Are you guys good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> So it's not really designed for power supplies and more for water balloons, but I think, still think it performed admirably given the circumstances. You can see that the uh, folded over marketing flap didn't actually fare that well in the, uh, in the fall. And the, oh wow, yeah, the outer carton in general is just kind of coming apart here. In fact, the inner carton is having a little bit of trouble here as well, but uh, let's go ahead and... Uh... So the point of this is, you know what, you're going to spend a bunch of money on a super, you know, high-end power supply. You want to make sure that when it arrives, you're actually going to be powering up your rig with it as opposed to dealing with shipping damage RMA. So you can see here the cables themselves. Immaculate. The power supply in its Okay, my cat chewed on it, but other than that, uh, pristine, uh, soft foam, totally not damaged, capable of handling multiple falls, and the power supply itself, once again, Corsair's packaging exceeds, uh, no loose parts, my expectations. In fact, a lot of the internals of this power supply, if you even... Uh, check out in there are actually like glued in or siliconed in. So I was, I was pretty confident it was gonna survive, but of course, 
falling from this kind of a height or wherever it fell from, uh, is, there's no guarantees. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed that kind of goofing around, then I've got great news. We have officially named our new Toys, Games, and Challenges channel. So if you want to see more of it, you can head over to Channel Super Fun, linked in the video description, and subscribe there. Our first video, firing actual water balloons with our launcher, will be coming soon, and we've got lots of great stuff lined up, including an automatic gumball machine, some sweet rubber band guns, and much, much more. So be excited for that. Or, or don't. But if you're not excited for it, then probably don't subscribe. Or maybe subscribe anyway, and then give us a chance to win you over. And then if you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe, but one way or another. The usual link to pricing and availability for the AX1500i is in the video description below the like, dislike, and share buttons, which you should use accordingly. Also in the video description is a support link where you can buy a t-shirt just like this one. Actually, we've got uh, these ones and WAN Stealth back in stock now. So you can buy a t-shirt just like this one, give us a monthly contribution, or change your Amazon bookmarks so we get an affiliate kickback whenever you buy random stuff. It helps us out a lot. Thanks again for watching, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.